out with the old and in with the new. Happy New Year to you. I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a Merry Christmas. If you celebrate and you've just had some great time to rest and rejuvenate. I know I have the last uh, few days, actually. So Christmas is always very energetic and exhilarating, but it can also be a bit exhausting. So I just took the last couple days. I'll tell you, last night I was in bed at 8 p.m., so maybe you found you needed a little extra R&R uh, &R too, and that is perfectly fine. But I want to start this video out by saying to you, you are exactly where you need to be. So everything that's happened to you up until this very point of your life, so what is it, December 31st, 2023, has all been a blessing for you. Whether it was good or bad, some negative encounters, positive encounters, you name it, it all helps to develop the person that you are and the life and the chapters in your book that's created your story, right? So I look at it as just know you're exactly where you need to be. And I also want to reassure you that the best is yet to come. So you may have had a struggle this Christmas um, over the holidays, or maybe it was a really great holiday, perfect. Um, know that it's only going to be better in, in the new year ahead. And yes, not to say there won't be some struggles along the way. That's just a part of life. But those struggles, if you believe that they bring you something to either heal you or to make you see things in a different light, it's perfect. So with that being said, I will um, go into the, the soul journey cards. I'm all, blah, blah, blah. you can tell that I've had a lot um, building in the last couple of days here. But yeah, so I'll definitely go into the soul journey card and our uh, quote of the day and affirmation. But what I wanted to start with is something fun that I want to challenge you with if you haven't done it yet. Uh, I did this a couple days ago, and so I'd say in the next few days, whenever you get some alone time to do it, take out your journal from 2023 or your um, calendar. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can just reflect uh, just you know, going through January, February, March, April, that kind of thing. I just need this for my memory, basically. I'll pull up the um, to-do list and just some of the things that I've accomplished because I'll actually journal a little in this book too. And then I have my journal journal that I kind of cross-referenced with. But I looked at some of the things I felt good and successful with, some of the things that I maybe won't do again or things I've learned from that didn't work for me, and just take the good, the bad, the ugly, and close out what doesn't work, bring uh, forward to 2024 20, what does work. So that's your first step, just reflecting. Then bring out your new journal. So I'm excited for 2024. This year starts on a Monday. I love it because we're starting on a fresh week fresh Monday is kind of cool instead of like a Saturday or a Sunday. I love that it's Monday. So it'll be 1-1 tomorrow, 2024. But pull out your new book and just start to write down your goals. Or even if you're, um, I'm not usually a huge New Year's resolution gal. I'll, I'll write some down. But for me, I love to write the goals that I accomplish every quarter is typically me. I, I write down the short term and the long term. But whatever works for you is perfect. And I'm going to encourage you to write it in the I am, meaning you're already manifesting it. So, so if you want to have a baby, I am a mother. If you want to be the new vice president of your company, I am the VP of whoop. Uh, if you want a brand new car, I am driving a doot doot doot, right? So whatever it is that you're wanting externally, so in the material world and also internally, in the uh, spiritual or the kind of your physical mindset. I am prosperous. I am peaceful. I am self-loving. I am patient. I am kind. You know, even things that you may, traits you already know you have, write them down. So for example, uh, I did the internal and external kind of mixed together. It's not like I started with one or the other. I just wrote down whatever came to mind. So my first one was, I am prosperous. And when I think of prosperous, I think of Yes, on the external with abundance and financial, but also more so for me, prosperity is happiness and feeling healthy, being the best version of myself. Um, I wrote down, I am intuitive. I am confident. I am self-assured. Let's see. I wrote, I'm a podcast influencer <laughs> with my podcast on Elevated Living. Uh, I am a YouTube influencer, encouraging self-love. So those are the goals that I have, right? I am a talented speaker. So you know, whatever you want to happen, write it as you already are. I am disciplined. I am beautiful. I'm fun. I am passionate. So I'm just giving you some examples. And of course, you only know what's important to you. Here's a business one. I'm an investor. Uh, I'm a realtor, a realtor. I'm inspiring others. 
Okay, so you get the idea. I won't go on and on, but I just want to give you some ideas of what you can write for whatever your heart's desires for 2024. So th those are your little to do. 2023 review, the good, the bad. 2024, what you're going to take in, what you believe can happen. And, you know, there are a couple things on here. I had like six items and I'll say only two of the big six were, were completed, but I was okay with that because I've seen progress. So I think as long as you're seeing progress in your life, that's the key. Oops, my dear friend's calling. I'm going to, well, let me finish this and I'll call her right back. So we're going to wrap it up. I'm already in five minutes. So what I want to, ooh, let's start with the quote and then we'll end it with the success messages for your soul journey. So first off, your quote, the new year stands before us like a chapter in a book. Oh, it's funny. I mentioned the book waiting to be written. We can help write that story by setting goals. So maybe that's even why I brought this up. I don't even know that I read the quote yet. Um, I just, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Set your goals, set your intentions. Know that this chapter 2023 is going to be added to your book, the book of love, the book of life, whatever you want to call it. And, um, just know the best is yet to come in 2024. And then your affirmation to go with that is, I am ready for a new year filled with abundant opportunities. So yes, definitely abundant. And I think the success journey card that I pulled today, Soul Journey, was perfect because look at your successes from 2023 and then think about what do you want to see in 2024. So here you go. Success. Inner and outer success is coming your way. And that is so true. It's like there's definitely the external success, but if you're not feeling good internally, so you might have everything material wise in the world, but if you don't have that love and connection with others, with your family, with your friends, um, feeling good, just body, mind, and spirit, it's really, to me, that's not success, right? So first off, define what success is to you, but then know that inner and outer success go hand in hand. So inner and outer success is coming your way. The gates of triumph are waiting to open deep and wide for you, except that you're already a winner and even more victories will expand in your life. So your soul wants you to know being successful is a state of mind. The more you feel it, the more love, prosperity, fame, and fortune will pour into your life. If a situation knocks you over, get up and brush yourself off and discover what you learned. So I'll say I just had um, an experience with my parents, uh, you know, my parents are the closest ones in my life, the ones that I'm near and dear to, especially since I don't have a spouse. And so I think a lot of times our family or loved ones, whether it's, yeah, your parents, your siblings, um, or dear friends that you're closest with, where you have more of that unconditional love, they can stir up emotions more than anybody else, right? And because we love them unconditionally and vice versa, you might say things to them that you would never say to somebody that you just know on a more surfacey level, right? So I will say we got in a little knockout, duke out, uh, I don't want to say fight, not like a physical fight, but we stirred each other up emotionally very much so. And there was some hurtful words thrown around. So maybe I didn't fight fair. I, I definitely know. I'm going to just speak for myself. I know that I took some time to look at the situation and thought, well, what could I have done differently? And I thought, absolutely, I could have just listened, seek to understand, and not let it hurt me because I think I was feeling personal, I was taking it personal and wanting to make a point. So instead of just holding energy for them, letting them express their situation, which I, you know, I didn't agree with it, of course, but why do I need to state how I feel? Sometimes I think there's a time and a place and, and maybe, maybe it was needed. Maybe I haven't spoke to them since I was going to give some time. I just, I just don't, I need some time myself to just let it go and heal a bit more. But um, and it's funny because here's me, I'm wanting to coach and like help others, but I want to be real with you too, to say that even for someone myself that is feeling very um, self-aware, continually growing, there's things that it's two steps forward, one step back, or maybe one step forward, two steps back, right? So this journey is all about learning and growing. And for me, it's a successful conversation if I can look at myself, so that little conversation we had. I'm just trying to give an example. Maybe you have one you're, you're thinking of. Um, but to be successful is to really be able to look at yourself, learn and grow from it. Uh, that's the only time success really comes out of a negative situation. So I hope that resonates, that message makes sense to you. Um, but that's what I got when I read it right away. I was like, oh gosh, I definitely learned from my mistakes. 
So let me go back to that. If a situation knocks you over, which I felt that did, I just felt like, oh, this is not how I wanted these couple days to go. It was like a great couple days and just ended on a bad note. Um, okay. So if a situation knocks you over, get up and brush yourself off and discover what you learned. You aren't a failure if you fall down, only if you stay down, right? So keep going and believe in yourself. Celebrate even the smallest victories that occur in your life. So here's your affirmation. Success fills my life in ways beyond my greatest expectations. So yeah, so you know, that's a silly example. And maybe some of you uh, over the holidays had a little encounter with your dear loved ones, um, loved one or loved ones. But just know it again, it happens for a reason. These little moments can really only help us grow stronger. And, um, you know, not every relationship is meant to be healed. Sometimes you do need to part ways depending on what it is. So I hope that gives you some comfort and guidance depending on what, what you're experiencing lately. Um, but no, we've got a fresh start for 2024. So a couple other things I want to leave you with. Um, let's see. This was a funny one that I wrote down. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. And I thought about this because the last couple days have been very inefficient for me. I was going to work on my podcast. I was going to work on my YouTube channel. I had all these great big ambitions, uh, ideas, right? And I felt like I was wasting time. So in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm just not being disciplined and da, 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 da. I was kind of beating myself up. And I thought about it. No, if I needed to waste a bit of time or I enjoyed it, I watched a Christmas movie each night. I just... I took a hot bubble bath. I just really took time for me. So don't look at it as wasting time if you enjoy it. All right. I hope that helps.